Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace the water circulation pump on this 5 liter Mercruiser engine. This is the replacement water pump. And here's the water pump on the engine. That's kind of hard to see. I got that the connection you're looking at there with the hose clamp is for the heater. You might not have that option, so otherwise then it's just the one hose. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Anyways, on this particular motor, there is a tensioner pulley which is right here. And it's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like these little teeth and so I'll loosen the tensioner pulley. Um, I'm actually probably going to remove these bolts first and this pulley you have to transfer over to the new water pump. Before you remove anything you'll want to make sure and check how the serpentine belt is routed. And so here's a picture of how mine is. Well I wasn't able to loosen one of these bolts so I'm going to show you how to undo the tensioner. It's a 16 millimeter. It just pops over here. And that's when you tighten it, and this is when you loosen it. So that's, that's how to loosen it. And then you can slide this off. So this is a 5 sixteenths. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but that's I use this to remove the hose clamps. It's definitely easier than, I find it easier than using a flathead. It's a 5 16 So we know water is going to spill out of this one. I think water will spill out of this one. I'm having a little issue getting this one off, but you're sure you can just dump it into the bilge and have your bilge pump pump it out. Got on my foot a little bit. I'd say it's about a gallon, I don't know. This hose, there's like a little spring in it to help it keep its shape. I know it gets crunchy sometimes. This hose, not very easy to remove. They pried up a little bit. I, I saw on a YouTube video, someone had a comment to get like a hose hook. That might've helped on something like this, but I basically just hooked in a flathead screwdriver squirted in a little WD-40 and just w wiggled it till it kind of broke loose and then it pops out. Oh, there's some water in there too. Ooh, it's kind of nasty. So in terms of sizes, uh, this is a 9 16th. It's kind of hard to see. I'll put the bowl on, you can see. That's a 9 16th. And the one over here, on the bottom is a 9 16th. Oh, and the one up here is also a 9 16th. You might need a deep socket or a wrench to get it started. And then the one over here is actually a half inch. This bolt's kind of interesting. I. You, it's best if you have a deep socket 916 so I ended up just using a, uh, a wrench and that worked. And you can see what it looks like here. I guess maybe on some applications you it, this secures something, maybe something mounts to this end of it. Alright, so I loosen these two bolts. Oh, this one's longer. So the one on the... Uh, starboard side is longer. I'm going to clean these out with a wire brush, all, all the bolts. Alright, so now there's nothing holding the water pump in. And I think if I just wiggle it... Wow, it's on tight. Yeah, 
there's no. Oh. No, there's this bolt. I, so. We got actually. It's kind of hard to see, but behind here is another bolt. Like right here. You see my finger? Pretty easy to remove. It's a 916 up here. And this uh, tension probably just slides right out. And this is another 916th. A deep socket would have worked, but uh, I just used a wrench. And it looks like they are the same size port and starboard. I know it's kind of hard to see it. for some reason the way the angle of the camera makes it look like they're different size, but they're definitely the same size. Anyways. All right, now nothing's holding on the water pump and it should just wiggle. Oh, there we go. That was pretty easy. Oh man, this thing is rusty. Tin roof rusted. Ugh. So I wasn't really having any issues with my water pump but i just thought this looked so terrible like just the rust pieces flaking off um, it's kind of hard to see inside i guess but it doesn't actually look too bad i don't feel any play on the impeller i might pop it open and take a look but i uh you can see all the rust on the outs on the that surface of it So I need to make sure here and here any residual gasket. Oh, it's actually pretty clean already. I'm gonna clean it up and uh, install the new uh, water circulation pump. It's just a little bit of an update. The pulley was actually really hard to get off. Um, you might need an impact driver. I ended up having to take it somewhere because I didn't have mine with me. And it was able. they were able to remove it real quick and easy. But without an impact driver, it was, it was stuck on there. I went ahead and got new bolts because these were starting to get a little rounded off. And that's the size, they're 5 16 24, and then 3 quarters of an inch. I picked those up from Lowe's. There was a little, uh, this is for the heater, and this is a 10 millimeter Allen, and it, it was really, it was on very tight. It was hard to get off. And then this piece off of the old uh, water pump that feeds the heater is a 7 8 so just oh, 7 8 And just so you know, I put uh, anti-seize on all the bolts going into the block. So, so these two have anti-seize, and then these two have anti-seize. For the pulley, I am going to use Loctite. I like to uh, coat the inside of the hose where it goes over the, the fittings. So I'll put a little bit of silicone grease on here. It helps, uh, helps it go on and come off easier. And I really like this stuff actually.
All right, we're losing sunlight. It is a 5 16 on the outside and a 5 8 on the inside. So you loosen it, tighten it, tighten the 5 16 to get the tension. As you tighten the 5 8 it snugs it down. Oops, keeps wanting to come off the nut. It's still pretty loose. Anyways, that's how you tighten. I'm going to mess with it and get it started. Have a good one, guys. I hope this helped.